Welcome back to chapter 9. It's kind of dark. Did you sleep? Very comfortably, thanks. Where are we? In the Wakuria Harbor. But there are barely any ships here. I do not know why. We must leave you here. We have other business. Carry your wave into the future, April. Whatever that means, I'll try. Where did all the ships go? They're gone. This can't be a good sign. I mean, duh. The city looks strangely quiet and deserted. And the sky... Those are not ordinary clouds. They look more like... like smoke. What's going on here? All right, here we are. Chapter... Chapter 9, Shadows. The empty city. Let's go check it out. I know that Hello. sound. Uh -oh. And I know that vortex. Oh shit! Cortez must have flown oh, it, and just oh, in the nick of time too. Also, what caused that shift to open just in time? Caused that shift to open to just in time. Finally. Hello. Anybody there? The f Back in the cathedral in Venice. Who's there? It's just Father me. Father Paul. I mean Father Rawl. April. It's good to see you again. Father Raul, where is Cortez? I thought he'd be here. I haven't seen Cortez for a week, and it worries me. He usually stops by once every few days. When did you last see Cortez? It must have been... I think it was last Sunday. Exactly one week today. He's been gone longer than that before, but this time I... What? This time I have a feeling there's something wrong. I don't like that feeling. Is there anything you're not telling me, Father Raul? I don't know what you... Yes, uh... you do. You're no ordinary priest. You know about Stark and Arcadia, about the balance, and I'm sure you know a lot more about Cortez than you're willing to let on. How did you... I heard you and Cortez talking last Sunday, and it scares me. And pisses me off to think that you're using me, that you're keeping things from me. I thought for sure that I could trust Cortez, but as it turns out... I can't. I was hoping to confront him with this, but he's not around and you... You're part of it too, aren't you? April, you have to trust me when I tell you... Sorry, I can't trust anybody anymore. There's so much at stake and I... I don't know who to trust, Father. Please, tell me what you know. I'm sorry, April. I mean, I'm sorry you don't feel like you can trust anyone anymore, and I'm sorry that I don't know more than I do. But I will try to answer your questions honestly and openly as much as I can. Who is Cortez? What do you mean? The way people react when I mention his name. The fact that he seems to have been alive for a very long time and that he knows as much as he does. Who is he? <laughs> it's funny, but I've been asking that very same question myself many, many times. Who is this man? He's old, yes, and powerful. He has strong magic, but he rarely lets on exactly how strong he is. He prefers to be considered eccentric, crazy even. They are both excellent disguises. You still haven't answered my question about Cortez. <sighs> That's because I cannot answer. I just don't know. He found me when I first came here. You see, I'm not just a Catholic priest. I'm also a sentinel on Minstrom. You're a Minstrom? Yes. Do you find that strange? How can you belong to two religions at the same time? 
Belief in the balance and belief in God are not mutually exclusive. The Sentinel Order was founded on the basis of protecting the balance, not to worship a higher power. As long as our devotion to whatever God we believe in doesn't conflict with our duty to the balance and vice versa, who is to say we can't work in the best interest of both? I guess. I just always thought of the Sentinel as its own faith. It is a faith, but a faith in something less than God, yet more than magic or the laws of nature. The balance was created by someone, was it not? I don't know. Nor do I. But I believe. I have faith. That's enough. What did you mean when you said Cortez found you? One day, he came to visit me here. He knew who I was, that I was a minstrel, and that I was devoted to restoring the balance as well as to my guide. We soon became good friends. He was very worried about the imminent collapse of the balance, yet told me that he was waiting for someone special, someone who might be able to help us. Me? Yes. He waited for a long time for you to show up, and when you did, it was hard for him trying to convince you that he wasn't crazy. I guess his disguise was too good. I don't know much more than that. Cortez tells me very little. Only that you're the key to the survival of the balance. I can only assume that you're the new guardian? That's what I've been told. Not by Cortez, of course. No. I understand your frustration, but I cannot help you any more than I have. If there's anything, anything at all... Thanks, Father. But you've done enough. It feels like I've done nothing. But God be with you. And the balance, too. How did you become a Sentinel Minstrel? The Sentinel are not numerous and stark. Not yet. Not with the Vanguard, the Church of Voltec, keeping a watchful eye and striking down anyone who dares to proclaim their faith in the balance. But the Sentinel are here. And when they find someone who they believe will be sympathetic to their cause, they approach them. That's what happened to me. They asked you to join? No. They told me the truth. I was studying theology at the time, and I found scriptures that challenged conventional wisdoms, made me question the validity of my faith. But once I learned the truth about the balance and the guardian and the ongoing war with the vanguard, it became easier to believe in God again because now things made sense. And so, in the end, I chose to become not only a priest, but a minstrel and I don't regret my decision. Have you ever been to Arcadia? No, I'm not a shifter. I'm stuck here, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't mind. I've been fortunate enough to read most of the scriptures of the balance, and that in itself is a rare privilege for a stalker like me. I don't have any more questions right now. If you do, please ask. I want to help. And that's the truth. All right. I have to run, Father. I hope to see you again soon, April. Please take care of yourself. And if you see Cortez, tell him to see me. Tell him that... that I've been worried. It's a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um, the sequel? It's Cupid! Nah, that came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that. Also known as Eros. Okay, can we get the fuck out of here? Pretty. And considering the neighborhood, it's a miracle that it's still intact. Maybe it's bulletproof stained glass designed for inner city cathedrals. I wonder how they light those candles. Do they have ladders? Or jetpacks? That's a funky idea. Priests with rockets on their backs. That would give a whole new dimension to evening services. Yeah, okay, April. Fucking dummy. Let's return home. Haven't been there in a while. I 
really should go home and change into something that doesn't make me look like a medieval restorationist. I wonder what the homeless people do in the wintertime. Supposedly, it gets biting cold here in Newport. And I don't know if there are any shelters anymore. That guy's so fucking fat, it don't matter. He's got plenty of insulation. It's a plaque commemorating the Venice Massacre of 2109. It reads, In honor of those who died defending our right to live. East Venice. There are, I think, three subway stops in Venice, including this one. Newport Waterworks. It's a strange thing to think that this whole area was once an industrial park. Nothing adds more to the tranquility of a city park than a huge rusty iron bridge. Very... cubist. And not my style at all. I can't even begin to guess what that's supposed to be. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very day of the infamous Venice Massacre in 2109, to the minute the police opened fire on the squatters. Oh well. Squash the squatters, that's what I say. Bitches. April fucking Ryan. You look at him, punch you in the fucking face, you fucking bitch. Who am I? That is my Zack impersonation. April fucking Ryan. I would kick that dude's fucking ass if I ever met him. What's going on here? April, run! Get out of here! Why? What's run, the... April, now! I wouldn't listen to her if I were you. Move over there. I said move! Is that fucking Destro? G.I. Joe? Emma, who's this man? Tell me what's going on! Who are you? What do you want? He's just following orders, Miss Ryan. He's just a servant. My servant. I was hoping you would join our little party. Is that the guy from Half-Life? You're a very difficult person to find, Miss Ryan. A very Mr. difficult Freeman. person to find. What are you doing to my friends? If you cooperate, nothing. Nothing permanent, at any rate. But if you make this any harder than it has to be, I will have your friends shot. All of them. What do you... Do I know you? I know you. I've seen your face somewhere. My name is Halloway. Gordon Halloway. I work for Jacob McAllen, who I am certain you have heard of, yes? Well, he runs the Church of Voltec, telling you it's a guy from also known as the Vanguard. He has been insisting on meeting you, Miss Ryan. Of course, we were not sure who you were at first, but we knew we would find you in Venice. You did give us a run for our money, I must admit. Your shift a week ago today made it a lot easier. But then you decided to stay out of town for a while. Smart. Coming back, though, was rather stupid. What do you want from me? We want you. And what you carry with you. We have our connections in Arcadia. We know of your journey north. Good job on our friend Mr. Klax. By the way, good job. Very impressive. Of course, not to mention the fine work you did on that Gribbler creature. She was not very cooperative. She just refused to listen to reason. Unfortunately, we lost track of you once you set out to sea. The Tyran are not very comfortable with water. And so there was no chance of sending anyone after you. However, with your good fortune and, shall we say, good breeding, I am certain you brought some valuable items back with you. I would expect no less from a bright and industrious girl. 
worker such as yourself. So, give me what you have and let us be done with this nasty business. I will let your friends go and then you and I go on a little trip. All right. Release my friends and you will get what I have. You are a very intelligent woman, Miss Ryan. Still, we need to teach you and your friends a lesson. Shoot that one. Emma! Not the hot one! Kill the lesbian! What the hell is going on? The fuck out of my way, Zack. Get out of my way, Zack. Where are you going, April? Don't you know the game's up? What game, Zack? They're trying to kill me. They just shot Emma. Who did? The agents, the Vanguard. But but they said they said they weren't really gonna hurt nobody. They were they just gonna. They said what do you mean? You spoke with them? No. I mean, they were just gonna arrest you. You bastard! And... You sold me out? You killed Emma? Do you know that? You killed my best friend! I I didn't... Why are we having a fucking conversation here? <laughs> See ya, Zack! Prick. Zack, are you... Shit! Open up! If you don't open, we'll break down the door. Seriously? Let's do it. Take it down. Oh god, this is not gonna be fun, but I don't have a choice. Close your eyes, April! Oh shit! Ah! Oh shit, somebody's watching the entrance. There's no way I'm getting by without him seeing me. But there's no other way out of here either. Oh yes there is. Who's there? I know somebody's there. I can hear you. Probably just a sewer rat. Sewer rat? I got my body back. That was a close call, though. If I'd been caught, I don't want to think about what would have happened. You'd probably get raped. door. It's open. See ya. What the shit? I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure actually, I'm not in Venice anymore. Now I know how Alice and Dorothy felt. Welcome. April Ryan. I won't ask how you know my name, but who are you? The Lady Albane is my name now. Where am I? What's this place? This is my home. The house of all worlds. 
This is Arcadia? It looked like I passed through a shift, but it didn't feel... It felt different. Not like shifting. It's similar to shifting, except that you did not pass through dreams, and you're not in Arcadia, nor in Stark. This place is between and everywhere. But don't worry. You are safe from your pursuers for the moment. Did you bring me here? You brought yourself here. But yes, I opened a doorway for you. Why? Because that's how the story goes, April. You escape. You outrun your pursuers and your journey continues. It's been written and we cannot change that now. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Lady Elvane, I appreciate your help, but I'm so tired of hearing about my destiny and about prophecies. I've lost a good friend today She's and... She's not dead. What? What did you say? Emma's not dead. She was hurt, but not killed. Oh, thank God. Are you sure? I'm quite certain. She is on her way to the hospital as we speak. But the others, Charlie, Fiona, they're angry at you. They blame you for Emma's pain and oh, for not shit. letting the men on the truth. They should blame me. I brought it all to them. The violence, the chaos. I've hurt so many people since this all started. And yet, at the time, it all seemed justified. It was. The fate of the many depend on the sacrifice of the few. Your sacrifice most of all. You've made so many, and you'll have to make many more before this is all over. Will it ever be over? Eventually. The pain won't go away, though. You'll keep that with you forever. I don't know if I can go on. It's so hard. Listen to me, April. You must go on. You must be brave. They all depend on... on you. And you can do it. You can get through this. Just remember what's important and what's not. Remember who your friends are and trust them. Let them help you. I already did that, and look where it got them. So, somebody gets hurt. That doesn't mean you can give up. I want you to go to Mercuria to see for yourself how those who are not willing to surrender are holding up. You can learn from their courage. I can't go there. I can't shift. People tell me I have this... this talent, but it's not true. You need more if fiber. I can't use it, what good is it? But you have used it twice already. April, child, you must learn to believe in yourself and your abilities. Use what you know, what you do best to focus your magic. What I do best? You mean painting? If that's what you do best, then yes. Use that as a focal point. After a while, you won't even need that. But it's a beginning. What about the other things I have to do? What about the Guardian? The Vanguard are holding Adrian, the Guardian, captive. But they still don't know where the entrance to the Guardian's realm is located. Shouldn't I free Adrian immediately? Go first to Mercuria. The doorway will bring you there. If you go straight back to Stark, the Vanguard will find you. Thanks, Lady Alvane. I'm not going to ask you how you know everything you just told me, because I'm not sure I want to know. Good luck on your journey ahead, April. I will keep my fingers crossed for you. Maybe I'll see you again. Oh. I'm quite certain of that. Quite, quite certain.